everybody I hope you're doing good hope you're doing well hope you're feeling perky and feeling swell oh yeah that was bad I'm not a rapper but I am a dipper and I got some delightful grizzly premium long cut mint now a lot of people don't like this dip but I don't know why the fuck they don't like it. I think it's fucking great. It's very pepperminty. Uh, Grizzly cans though, man. They're fucking solid as fuck. And uh, they're very sturdy. The one problem is the lids are fucking hard to get off. So. Mm. You got to make sure you don't get fucking dip all over your shit. Stuff I'm drinking, man. Uh, Hawaiian punch with a mix of uh, tang. I got. I, I'll show you. I got this. This is it. This is what I call a good food bank score because it's not something you normally find, but it's fucking way cool because it's kind of a high ticket item. Little thing of tang, so I can tang up my Hawaiian punch now. So that's pretty sweet. Looking at the good side, which is what this vlog is all about. Looking at the good side. I'm dipping on a dip that people always hate on, but I'm looking at the good side because I fucking love it. Oh, yeah. Nice pinch of tea here. I like it so much I dipped half a can of it today. Mmm. Mm. To me, it tastes like, uh, well, it tastes like, like Grizzly, but obviously, but, uh, it, it reminds me a lot of Skull Classic Mint, which, uh, if, if you know me, you know, I dig that stuff, but, uh, anyhow, it's not about, yeah, today, um, the weekend theme in the warehouse of Strangers Music Group on Facebook. If you're on Facebook, check it out and uh, join on board. It's a lot of fun. <coughs> Guaranteed drama free. All music all the time. Let the drama walk and let the tunes walk. Or the tunes rock. I got that wrong. I got a message and fuck me up. Let the drama walk and the tunes rock. That's right. And, uh, you know, a lot of my, uh, my people out in Facebook world or social media world, which is the majority of the people in my life these days, um, a lot of people are suffering, you know, uh, having a lot of mental anguish and, uh, troubles with depression and anxiety, you know, the list goes on. You know, I'm, uh, I'm someone who has very, very serious troubles with all that stuff. I'm, uh, I don't usually go into my personal information, but it's kind of in context here, but I'm, I've been diagnosed with PTSD, ADD, OCD tendencies, extreme, uh, anxiety disorder, uh, social anxiety disorder, and depression, which is, I always found ironic because I'm a pretty fucking happy guy, but I, on paper, I fit the fucking profile, right? So, but what I want to, you know, the way I try, you know, I have all these, all these troubles. And I know a lot of my friends do, you know, and the best thing you can do well, you know, if the person wants to be left alone, you leave them alone. But, you know, if a friend is calling out for help or needing support, you know, uh, be a friend and fucking support them in their in their troubles, you know. Uh, you know, I think what's going on right now, there's a lot of support being shown for a lot of people. And it's because a lot of people can empathize uh, with each other each other's struggles right now because a lot of them are kind of similar everyone's different but 
it all boils down to anxiety, right? Um, yeah, so, you know, be a friend and fucking support your friends and think about how you would want people to treat you, you know? Um, you know, like I always say, you know, when it comes to Facebook and social media, don't ever talk to anyone on social media like you wouldn't talk to them to their face, you know? Like, mean what you say and say what you mean, you know? There's so many cases of people who are fucking sad inside. This is a big topic of a discussion in one of the groups I'm in, in a chat group about a group we all got booted from, a bunch of us got booted from. You know, just how sad the administrator must be, you know, like, because he just spends all his time calling people names and, and you know, He's like Trump, you know, he fucking, if you don't give him the fucking love that he commands, then you're out, you know, but that's not supporting a friend. That's fucking being a toady, you know, and, uh, you know, if the guy is really feeling, uh, emotional troubles, you know, the best thing to do would be to reach out, you know, he's got a lot of friends and all that, you know, but, but yeah, but anyway, we'll read that aside, you know, people in my group, uh, in the warehouse of strangers, a lot of them are really suffering from sadness or anxiety or, or whatever, you know, and, uh, you know, so I made the theme, I imposed the theme on, on the weekend, you know, sometimes we have a weekend theme. And I, I said, okay, this weekend is all about feeling good and posting what makes you feel good, you know. Because hopefully, if everybody starts bringing everybody up or showing what brings them up, it'll rub off, you know. Uh, Chris Ball, one of the members of, uh, of the group, who's an extremely influential musician to me, uh, he played in the faith, he played in embrace, he played in, uh, ignition, most importantly to me, um, along with a multitude of other, uh, legendary, uh, Washington DC hardcore acts and stuff like that in that general scene. And he, for, he, he posted the first thing. He posted this fucking awesome video that is just nothing but feel good. And, uh, a feel good cartoon, you know, and, and that was a great way to kick it off. Right. Cause, uh, you know, and he made a point of saying, this is, this makes me feel happy. I struggle. I struggle with issues on a daily basis and things like this make me happy. Music, music is why I keep going, you know, and I couldn't agree more, you know, even in my darkest days, you know, and here on my little vlogs and stuff, I always keep my glass half full and try to be on the up and up and everything. But, you know, I'm only human. Everybody has their struggles, right? And uh, it's good. It's good when people can be supportive of each other and kind to each other and not in a bullshit ass kissing way, not in a suck up way, just being genuinely cool to people, you know. Because why not, you know? If you're cool to people, people will be cool to you. That's one thing I've really learned through my uh, my adventures in social media, you know? There's always going to be someone who doesn't like what you do, you know? Always going to be someone who, you know, and it's like life, you know? You don't like everyone you meet on the street. You don't necessarily love your neighbor, you know, why are you expected to love everybody in your, in your, in your group, you know, or whatever. But, uh, you know, like I say, if people are cool to you, be cool to them. And if you be cool to them, they'll probably be cool to you, you know, and it rubs off. It's infectious, you know, uh, laughter is contagious, you know, whereas, uh, making, making people feel crappy because, you feel crappy inside is also contagious, but in a very fucking toxic way, 
you know, so. Mm-hmm. I'm very much not a fucking inspirational quote guy or like make a post about how you should be mindful about this or that and the third, you know, but you know, I believe that uh, you can manifest happiness in your life, you know, and it's not that hard to do. You just got to, you know, I always say every day can be beautiful if you look at it the right way. Even though it's a fucking rainy, fucking gray day here in Peterborough, the plants are all growing, the grass is green, it's quite beautiful, the air is nice and cool, it smells amazing outside, you know. So, yeah, shitty and rainy, and I don't have an umbrella when I gotta walk for a half hour or later, but I don't give a fuck. It's a beautiful day. Why? Because I said it's a beautiful day. And that's all that matters. Because if I say it's a beautiful day to me, then it's going to be a beautiful day. You know? I'm kind of rambling here. What I'm saying is fucking... If your friends are struggling, be a friend. You know? Support those who will support you. Be kind. You know? Be uh, gracious. Be fucking... You know, there's a lot of people who got to be the king of the castle. And, you know, if everybody's the king of the castle, there's a lot of fucking ego being thrown around, you know. So, I'm not making much sense here. But I hope y'all get my drift. Be cool, man. Be cool. Be well. Stay free and fucking have an awesome weekend because it's going to be an awesome weekend. All right. I'll see you sometime soon in the meth and the town over and out.